Yo! Jesus, Murphy, Mary, and Joseph, Lord above us. Wow. What a day for everything. All these shorted stocks. These guys are down a billion shorting these meme stocks. I mean, what is going on? I thought today for sure. That after hours when we started going 34, 35, 36, 37, I was still just, and then 38, 39. I'm like, okay, they're going to start covering. And he said, it's got to be here. I mean, how much more are they going to let this run up? We're at 40 freaking dollars almost. What are we going to be at tomorrow? Holy moly. Anyway, here's our boys over at Citadel. A little busy tonight, 1136 uh, Chicago time over there. Good night. I'm going to watch this all night just see what they're doing over there. So, yeah, they're busy. I don't know <laughs> what they're doing, but they're busy. Uh, okay, let's hop into it. I got something at the end on it. I dug up uh, one of my famous rabbit holes about a couple of hedge funds that got in a old wizen match, and they caused a uh, short squeeze. So I think you'll find that interesting. Um, let's get over to the data, Ortex. The momentum in meme stocks has continued after the long weekend. AMC, GME, MVIS, and BB all up over 10% today. Today alone has caused losses for short sellers of $1 billion. Um, everything's up. You know, AMC, this is just the regular trading hours. We know what we're up in AMC. GME, we know what we're up. 12% there in regular trading hours. Cost was up to, I think, yeah, 4.6. I think they ran in after hours. BlackBerry was up like a son of a gun. They ran in after hours. I think they ran up to another 8, 10%, something like that. Um, Sundial is on a ripper for the last five, six days. They're up 30-something percent, up 3.9%. Remember, I don't think we look at a lot of this, too. We're seeing, hey, the... Hedge funds has cost them a ton of dough just in AMC, but that's why I like touching on um, the Ortex data too. I mean, just those four stocks alone, they're down a billion bucks. I mean, how much more did we go? What do we do? Uh, that whole mess with uh, the old paper hands this morning, and Adam Aaron sent a tweet out a couple hours ago, three hours ago now, my time in response to that. More than 500 million AMC shares change hands in a typical week. In our view, selling only 8.5 million shares is an example of our responsibility raising capital and arming AMC with 230 million in additional cash by doing so. Some of you have asked the question about AMC raising 230 million from the sale of 8.5 million shares. Like you, I am an AMC shareholder, and my team and I have the best interest of AMC shareholders very much top of mind, right? So that's very good. Here's your old Stonko tracker. This thing was at 1.5 million this morning or whatever. What's crazy is, uh, I know I just looked. I don't know why I keep looking at this, but I did probably a two hours ago, well after the market closed at 8 o'clock. But it was at 100, 150, now back to zero. Maybe a Citadel. You wouldn't put in past them. Maybe they're shortening it at 1130 at night. So they found a way in to hack into the system. I don't know. Regardless, doesn't matter anymore. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. These 35, 36, 37, you know, the the other calls are in the money. So we're over 200,000 already here expiring on Friday. So these are good, plus this is good, plus 36, 37 bucks too. So it just, hello, keeps going and going. Uh, welcome our boys Vanguard again. Here's another 13F here in the old trusty Fintel. Um, one, two, six, one. So as you can see here, shares, 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 and shares. That's all Vanguard, Janus in there. Um, one other one, Bridge Builder, small middle cap value fund. Yeah, and that's all for six one. So just continues to go and go. Welcome aboard again, Vanguard. Whenever they did it, we know, but still, it, it just keeps going and going and going and getting better. Ortex, look at this. Today's change is short interest 0.461. Utilization still almost maxed, right? Uh, free float Percentage of free float 27.17. There's the rest of your data up there if you guys want to change it. Ticking time bomb, as we know. Um, then I noticed to a couple of these, we'll just touch on this New York Post, but I had another one, you know, your, I guess, main or stream type of uh, media. Uh, they have no choice but to report what's really going on at this point. Another one, Investor Palace, set your short 
term sites high on AMC, blah, blah, blah. But this one here, um, suspense, mystery, intrigue, the latest AMC drama has a plot twist not even the movie theater company saw coming. AMC Entertainment announced Tuesday it will raise 235 we know that, to the hedge fund, saying it as a plan to cash to go on the offense. Remember Adam Aaron said they wanted to go on the offense. Um, but just hours later, it was reported that Mur Murdick, Mur Paper Hands Capital, had sold all the shares, saying the stock was overvalued. I mean, what you talk about some paper hands, and boy, did they miss the boat on that. Whatever their whole thing was, we know the Citadel thing that came out this morning, blah, blah, but oh my gosh. Murdick bought in at 2712, by the way. So who knows what that whole thing is. It doesn't matter. We gobble up all them shares anyway. It's nighty night. Good nighty night. Um, huge day for meme stocks. And there's our boy, the original leader of the pack. Um, direct appeal to investors on sites like Reddit and Discord who helped to boost shares of AMC over 1,200% this year so far. It seems like Murdoch sold. They were definitely a shill posted a Redditor using the handle Newman underscore 42 underscore so that's a good you know little read there but you know these guys have no this is a i i read through this i didn't take much away if you guys want to read it I'll, I'll post a link in there but he's pretty you know hey watch yourself on this one but you know he is bullish on this is what i took away from the article so normally you're not going to see this from this type of nonsense right and then listen to this one really quick here for crying out loud uh, the meme stocks that we were just talking about, when you look at retail investors and how uh, involved they've gotten, I mean, that doesn't seem to be related to the Fed, or do you think it is because there's so much money floating around right now? It's related to so much money floating around. So you, you know, if you're a retail investor, you've received injections from the federal government. You can very easily borrow on margin at very low rates, very low rates. And you're encouraged to take risk. And I will have to stress this AMC actually is, is quite consequential. Why? Because you've got a company understanding that there is a certain segment of the investor base that they can relate to, and that is retail investors. Retail investors have found, like they did with GameStop, a particular opportunity. So keep an eye on this phenomenon. They are starting to be price determinant in an important way. What do you mean? Well, they find opportunities. Remember GameStop, it was shorted up to 140% of float. They found it and they were able to Im implement a very smart short squeeze that only got frustrated by Robin Hood telling them you can't buy this anymore. AMC, they found another situation whereby they can be influential in price formation. So I'm looking at this and saying, this is not the old type of retail investors. There's quite a smart element to it. And the f ability to coordinate and talk to each other and Reddit on Twitter has, it has changed and is changing the landscape. We have changed the market forever, boys and girls. Isn't that outstanding? What a cool thing to be a part of. Okay, last but not least, Oh, no, I had this one here, old Frank, uh, old Frankie, Frankie Nez with his good articles again, too. This was a good one. I'll pop that link in there if you guys have not seen that. Long one, good one, a bunch of good due diligence in there. He's pretty awesome putting these things together. But now, on to this. Um, short squeeze, the game theory of a billion-dollar bet. This was posted a year ago or so, but read through, <laughs> read through this. It looks like a couple of hedgies got in a little bit of a pissing match, and they uh, caused a short squeeze. Found that clip pretty comical. So there's a little couple of homework pieces for you. We got, what, three hours and 15 minutes until tip-off. So that's it, you guys. I'm excited. It's tickled pink. I don't know what to think. Uh, this thing's about to just seriously explode. I know we keep saying that over and over, but how much, how longer, how much more can we go? We're at $40. Whatever we're at. Close enough. Okay, guys. Lily's here. She's going to say goodbye on the way out the door. Go AMC, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Hey, guys, thank you for watching, my dad, and have a good day and AMC to the moon. Bye-bye. <laughs> to the moon, baby. To the moon.